what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back today we are taking another journey down into the abyss that is the walking dead season 9 episodes 9 and 10 is here for you guys today hopefully you guys are enjoying these reactions as much as i did when i was watching the show to do these recordings um you guys have been awesome of course i know you guys will continue to do so um, of course, I wish my videos were getting more views. There are people who watch The Walking Dead and they get tons and tons of views. But I don't care about that. I really don't care anymore. I'm just watching the shows and just enjoying the shows. Whenever the channel realizes that it's a good channel and decides to blow up or YouTube decides to push my channel a lot more, then of course, maybe some people just don't enjoy the fact that my stuff is not on YouTube, but I'm trying to protect myself now because I see that a lot of creators, a lot of reactors are starting to do what I'm doing, which is to not put the reactions. A lot of these channels, they are losing their channels, okay? People are out here dealing with multiple copyright strikes, having to beg people to beg YouTube to not delete their channels, okay? They are people out here that are suffering because they won't stop putting this shit up on YouTube. And people are like, oh, it's in fair use and this is that and whatever. Do you think these companies care about you and your fair use? You're taking away revenue from them. They don't care about you and your fair use. Plus, they're not. They're just going to keep striking your channel because YouTube is not going to do shit about it. They're not going to stop these companies. And a matter of fact, they can't stop these companies. They can't. And when you're talking about you, and the thing about it is that you can't fight it either as a reactor. You get what I'm saying? You you can't fight it either. So what do you got to do? Sit down and take the whooping. That, that's all you can do or beg. <laughs> that's about it. You know what I mean? Because if you could fight it, you would. But you won't because you know you're going to lose. You're going to lose. Okay? So that's the thing. So in case, that's why I don't I don't care if, it, if I'm only getting 200 views for my videos. I don't care, man. Eventually, the stuff on my channel will be recognized for what it is. I do full reactions. Something that probably nobody else does for free. <laughs> right? Um, so... Yeah, man, let's jump back into these episodes. Negan is free. Forgot to talk about that in the review. Negan looked like he has escaped. Michonne is going to be pissed. Gabriel is going to be in some hot water because I I remember that he, that he closed the door and didn't close it back with the key. So I, w I did in the moment I wondered about it, but then I was like, oh, it's probably just, you know, one of those locks that can't. You can't open it from the inside, but it, you know, um, but it automatically closes. But um, that thinking just didn't make sense as I'm talking about it right now. But it is what it is. Anyways, guys, let's jump into these episodes, and I will see you guys for the review. All right, what's going on, guys? Welcome back. <laughs> this show is taking a turn <laughs> right taking a turn still great season going on that hasn't you know changed for me um the situation that's going on with lydia very unique situation um you know what is she gonna think now because she thought her mom would never come for her but her mom has come for her. Um, as I said, I don't have much to say about these two episodes. These two episodes were pretty straightforward. Finding out more about the people that is not a lot of them. Obviously, it doesn't seem like that. It seems like it's about maybe 20, maybe 20 of them. Not even. It doesn't look like um, it's much of them, right? You see them walking. I'm pretty sure it's all of them that went there, right? Hold on, let me see if I can get that wide shot again. Yeah, because it doesn't seem... Right? Doesn't seem like it's a lot of them. Let me see. It's a wide shot of them right here. Yeah, it doesn't seem like... Yeah, it's not even 20 of them. It doesn't look. Maybe close to 20, maybe 18 of them. Yeah, maybe 18. 
close to 20. Maybe it's even 20. I don't know. But a wide shot, it's not really a great shot for me to count. But in any case, she came for her daughter. What is she going to think now? Is she going to think that what her mom told her was the truth? Or did she actually remember what happened? Uh, what actually happened to her dad? This girl is going to be super confused because she believes her mom never cared about her. Which she kind of does because she's here for her. Now, what is her motive behind coming for her daughter? I don't know. She showed up. You know what I'm saying? And it's a little strange. It's a little strange. Um, Henry, in my opinion, is still very naive um his character has changed because henry never used to he was as a kid he was he wasn't in no bullshit you know what i'm saying he did some stupid stuff as a kid but he wasn't the type that was so naive and i guess it's the influence over time of e ezekiel and carol teaching him you know about you know seeing the good in people and all of this other stuff that has kind of changed him growing up from that kid that you know wanted revenge for his brother right so i'm looking at that and i'm saying right now he's a very naive person um considering the circumstances and him still believing all of this stuff like you think there would be a balance because that's the thing with most of the characters in the show they have a balance they know when to go off rather than you get what i'm saying so within rationality right so you have that going on so um it seems like negan is heading back to alexandria it would be so funny if <laughs> if when he's walking in michonne is walking in at the same time that would be hella funny he walk he going back to the cell in my opinion i don't i, I think if if it does play out that him and michonne arrive at the same time and with judith and all and, you know, he's like, I'm going back to the cell. Um, and Michonne is like, listen, I would want Michonne to let him, let him live. You know what I'm saying? L let him live. You know what I mean? Like, at this point, what I said, the thing about it is that, does Negan deserve a second chance? Probably not. But it's just that my heart. Me as a viewer of the show and seeing so many people getting second chances in the show. And I think this is his first chance at a second chance fully. You get what I'm saying? All the other times he was kind of in control still. So, you know what I mean? Like plenty of chances to walk away from the situation, you know, with a gun pointed at his head, really, by Rick, you know, during the war, right? So he had all reason to be like, no, nope, this ain't it. This ain't it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm still going to fight, you know, and I got to give him respect for that. Other than the fact that the only thing that I think that, you know, I wouldn't be sad or anything like that if he got killed by anyone or anything. I, I really wouldn't. But at the same time, it's like because... I'm too much of a human sometimes because sometimes people are going to be like Negan deserve Negan doesn't deserve forgiveness, you know, because he killed two major characters in the show, you know, in such a gruesome way. He doesn't deserve anybody's pity or anything like that. Right. Forgiveness. None of that. He doesn't deserve it. And I, I, I would agree with you. But the world that we're trying to build now and him not even trying to fight against judith right um and i think that relationship it kind of plays on the relationship that he had with judith as a kid from him holding her and stuff like that i think she remembers all of that and i think that's where the relationship kind of built from um even though we didn't get to see it you know it seems like they have a unique relationship where they talk and about stuff you know what i'm saying and judith is is a really smart little girl and i think the fact that he does he's not even trying to like you know over you know not even try to like take her out or attack her or anything like that like it just kind of shows me that negan has changed in some ways you get what i'm saying in some ways not all the way 
but in some ways he has changed. The change was there is just that it's the same thing that Gabriel said to him. It's like I keep digging deeper to see if I can find a person. And I think it's there. It's just that it's hard to find because he's so like disassociate with that part of himself over the years that he was, you know, in charge of sanctuary and in charge of the saviors that he he just can't find his path back to being that person that was with Lucille. He remembers the person, but he's like he he refuses to be that person, but at least he acknowledges, right? At least he acknowledges the situation that's going on around him. You know, Alexandra being is thriving and everything that Rick told him that was going to happen, that is happening without his, you know, hand in anything that, you know, he sees it now for himself and sees that, listen, things can work. You know what I'm saying? Without having to use people as a resource and all of this other stuff like it can work. So I really do appreciate it. I appreciate them for highlighting that um, in the series of trying to have a redemption arc for Negan. I love it. I don't mind it. You get what I'm saying? I, I, I really don't. I don't mind redemption arcs in any story that I'm watching or reading. I don't mind it because I think characters can have huge redemption arcs and 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 make it a big impact. Um, I.e., you know what I'm saying? If you guys watch anime, Naruto is my favorite anime. Um, you know. Look at somebody like Orochimaru. Orochimaru, you know what I'm saying, did some very evil things at the beginning of Naruto. Some really evil things that you would never expect. Well, you would expect this from a villain, but then at the end of Naruto, he came kind of full circle around to being somebody that you can depend on. You know, so I really do appreciate a good redemption arc. He killed one of my favorite characters in Naruto, but I still now. You know what I'm saying? Looking forward. Yes, he's, you know, a lot of people still don't trust him, you know, in the story going forward. But still, you can see that he has not that person anymore. So as long as he's not doing anything sketchy and he's found his way, we're good. You know what I'm saying? Um, so it's the same applies for Negan. I'm always good for good. Yes, you know, he killed the people, man. He killed people. But who hasn't in this series? Who hasn't killed anybody in this series? You know what I mean? Um, the, you know, in different ways, I get it. It's different when other people do it. You know, it was different. You know, people kill because they have to. Some people kill because, because if it, it's an indulgence. So, it is what it is. But anyways, that is my thoughts on episodes 9 and 10. Anyways, thank you guys so much. Appreciate y'all. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to leave a comment and I will catch you guys next time for some more The Walking Dead. It's your boy Terabyte Reacts and I'm out. Peace.